What's up everybody? Welcome to another How To Tuesday. Today we're gonna talk about how to feel your body um, at different stages before a game. Whether it's two days before, one day before, the night of, the day of. Um, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite things in the world, food and drinks like juice and water. Welcome to another How To. This is a How To Eat. Also, full disclaimer for this kind of stuff. This is what works for me. So this is how I eat, how I drink before a game. Um, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not telling you guys that this is how you should eat. This is how I eat, this is how my body works best um, and what I can use to fuel it. Um, so make sure you guys know your own bodies, know your own nutritional needs, um, and make sure that you guys are using what you need to get the job done. But just wanted to let everyone know that. Uh, but here's a look at to what I eat kind of at different points before and during a game. We're gonna talk about five periods of time before and during a game. We're gonna talk about the day before, the night before, the morning of, sometimes the night of, and then during. So these are the five sort of time periods that I think are crucial to what are, are crucial in terms of what we're putting into our bodies and how we are fueling them to get ready to play. So the day before a game, I pretty much eat normally and usually I don't eat a ton during the day. I'm a notorious night eater, which is not very good for me. Um, so I'll eat a little lighter during the day. I'll go about my normal business, um, eating a sandwich for lunch, snacking throughout the day on fruits, veggies, um, pretzel crisps. That's kind of my normal day before a game. Um, I kind of go about my normal business because when I was in college, I was practicing or I was playing or I was um, going to class. And now that I don't play as regularly, um, a lot of it I have worked before. So I usually tend to eat a little lighter and normal, kind of normal portions before the game. The night before is probably when I personally eat my heaviest. Um, that's when I go to my pastas, my whole grain pastas, my rices, um, lean proteins, lots of veggies. Um, I'll be drinking lots of water both the day before and the night before. Um, white pea is the right pea is what Corinne Etchison's dad always says. And that's kind of my, been my mindset. Um, I'll also be drinking chocolate milk because that's just what I love. Um, and I never, I don't deny myself a snack either. Um, so whether that's a quick sweet treat, um, a cookie or something to give me a little spark, that's usually what I end up eating the night before. Um, I try not to eat too greasy. Um, definitely fill myself up with carbs, but I don't like to eat disgustingly. It's usually pretty healthy. Just a little bit more of it. So whether you play in the morning or night, has a huge impact on how I eat. So when I eat, when I have a morning game or like a 12 or a 1 p.m. game, I'll eat pretty light for breakfast. Um, so whether that's peanut butter toast or eggs or cereal and fruit, um, I tend not to want to play with a lot in my stomach. So I'll tend to be, eat a little lighter, um, try to eat healthy, um, give myself some energy and some nutrients to kind of get me through a one o'clock game because usually you eat breakfast at 7.30 and then you don't eat again until two. So you need to make sure that you have enough energy to play but enough, and enough food to get you through that. But for me, I'm someone who gets sick to my stomach so I didn't like to eat too much. I always packed banana just in case I got hungry on the bus over. For night games, that was a little different. Um, so if we had like an 8.30 p.m. game, let's say. Morning, I would eat a little heavier. So that's when I would go to like my potatoes, um, a bagel, cereal, fruit. Again, not awful for you, um, but I probably would eat a little more because I had more time to digest as the day went on. The afternoon, so if we had an eight o'clock game, usually we would eat dinner around four, and that's where we would get pastas, chicken, veggies, um, I wouldn't eat a lot. I would eat enough to kind of get me through. Um, but I would be more focused on drinking water, getting those little snacks, saving some fruit or granola bars for later in the day. And one of the biggest things that I get questions about is what do you eat during a game? Um, I'm not known for it just because I have a sensitive stomach. 
but there have been times where I have grabbed a Gatorade chew or um, a granola bar or something with just a little bit more sugar in it um, to kind of get me through the second half. So that's when, like at halftime of our Maryland games, our trainer would bring in Gatorade chews and granola bars um, that had a little bit more sugar but would help us last through the end of the game. So those are always good to have on hand um, to make sure you are make, giving your body enough energy to get through. So that's sort of a look into how I eat, how I eat before games and what I eat when. Um, I tend to try to eat healthily. That's a lifestyle that I've really um, gotten into, especially when I have games involved. Um, what I eat not around game time is a little different. But um, just about, it's all about portion control for me, making sure I'm eating enough, not eat overeating, um, but bringing snacks on the side in case. So that's what I eat. Make sure you guys find something that works for you guys um, in terms of your performance and always check with the doctor to make sure that what you're eating is correct. See you next time.